Hi everybody, my name is Jordan. I am a registered veterinary technician as well as a veterinary technician specialist in small animal internal medicine. I'm just gonna give a little demo as to how to administer food and water through a feeding tube. So we drew up the quantity of food that we would like him to get at this time, as well as a little bit of water and then a little bit of extra water so we can administer the water before and after each feeding. And then um, this food and water is both room temperature so we like it room temperature because too hot or too cold can cause him to be, become a little nauseated. So what we do is we take our little cap off of our Christmas tree port here and then our syringe will actually fit nicely on there. We like him to be sitting in a nice sternal position like this. Um, and then we can just administer the water nice and slow. If he'll cooperate here, hopefully you can see him swallow a couple times. Um, but what we like to do is administer the food and water about one, well, five mils every one minute or so. Just, we don't want to do it too fast. We don't want to do it too slow. As we all know, cats can get a little impatient with us here and don't want to sit for too terribly long. Um, but they tolerate it pretty well. As long as he's not coughing or sneezing, then we know that he, he's doing pretty well with it. And then I like to administer water first just to make sure that the tube is flowing and not clogged. And then after the water, we can do the same thing. Connect the food, our room temperature food here. Again, not too hot, not too cold, just to not make him nauseated. And then we're just gonna administer nice and slow. Again, about five mils every one minute. And at this time, he's only gonna get about 12 mils for this feeding. And as you can see there, hopefully he just swallowed for us a little bit. And yeah. You do want them sitting in an upright position or what we call sternal versus laying on their side or sleeping because again, we want them to swallow. And if they're laying on their side um, or laying in an odd position, sometimes the food can kind of flow back out of the stomach and cause them to regurgitate a little bit. So this is a perfect position for any dog or cat with a feeding tube in. And as you can see there, he is still swallowing for us as I push a little bit of food in each time. And the tube doesn't actually directly go into his neck at this point, it does curl around to allow us to be able to wiggle so when he moves for me, it's not directly attached to his neck. It, it's nice and curled up in here before it goes into his neck down in here. And if they do try to regurgitate or cough or vomit while administering food, then we do like to stop. He's a good boy, I know we're almost done, huh? I know. And then after the food is done, I like to be sure that we really flush it with just a few mils of water again. Again, kind of room temperature, lukewarm water, just to ensure that we're not gonna get that food dried up in the tube and clog it so we can continue using it. And put our cat back on and he's done, he's free. Huh, you're free. And that's it.